The most ancient element of our national culture is applied art. Hello, I'm Tamara Asar and you're watching the Kazakh Live Duster. Today we will talk about textile products. Felting occupies a special place in applied arts. We are now in the workshop of the artisan who is engaged in felting, contributes to the development of this craft and revival of folk art. She makes every effort to teach the next generation to esteem folk art and shares her knowledge. She is an ethnic designer, the holder of Kurmet Ur, the director and founder of Almaty City Center of Craftsmen, Aigul Jiksinbay Kaza. It's nice to see you, Aigul. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very glad. Tell us, please, in detail about the felting process. We are very interested. As you said, felting is the ancient folk art that have been preserved through many centuries. Kazakhs attach great importance to it. Since formation times, they use this material in all spheres of life. For instance, they lived in felt houses, made felt coverings, clothes, and so on. We can say that this is the very first widespread and widely used textile in the Kazakh people's everyday life, especially during the nomadic way of life. People applied felt in all spheres. An important stage of production technology is the preparation of raw materials. This is wool. First, we need to shear sheep. Yes, but it's necessary to shear sheep correctly. After shearing a sheep, we should wash the sheep. Yes, sheep should be washed. After drying, the process of cleaning the wool begins. This procedure must be approached responsibly. Because, even at the moment, there is a lot of debris left in the wool. They can be dried down fuel. Yes, dry down fuel and grass. All this gets stuck in the wool. After that, the wool is collected and thoroughly fluffed, sorting by hand. We also need a sketch. It should be decided what color will be in the product, what way colors will be combined. Our ancestors could very skillfully combine colors while creating handicrafts. After creating a sketch, Taldrma is prepared. It is preliminary preparation of felt. It is compacted, the necessary shape is cut out, or a pattern of wool of different color is laid out. This is the design process. This is Talderma, the basis of the future large piece of felt. As you can see, we have already decided which two colors will be used. Everyone does it at their own pleasure. The workpiece is placed on the main felt and moistened. Thus, Taldirma is pressed as a pattern into the main felt piece. To do this, the workpiece is smooth, pressed gently and then rolled out with force. An important moment in felting is to be able to evenly lay out the wool. After that, it's moistened with hot water and rolled out. The work is performed jointly by people, which helps to bring them together. You're right. Currently, Aigul and I are getting closer, so in the course of work, people have to contact each other physically, even if they do not have the best relationship. Sure. So people begin to feel sympathy. All this is... Energy. Energy. 
His work contributed to people's interaction and formation of closer relations with each other. And we are now continuing this tradition. Rolling out takes a lot of time, therefore a group of women doing monotonous work will quickly get bored of sitting silently. This is quite a long process. Of course, the technology has changed slightly. In the old days, there were no such platforms for work. Women worked on the ground, right on the ground. Yes, you're right. Currently, now there are workshops. All comfortable conditions are created so that the back does not ache. Now there are such conditions. Of course, technology has changed slightly now. The basic craft process has remained the same, but with the addition of modern elements. We produce felt on order. Presently, we mainly manufacture products from thin wool. We make home slippers and handbags from coarse wool because it holds its shape better. And fine wool is used to make rugs, felt pieces. It looks beautiful and it's more comfortable to rest or sit on it. How long do you roll out? It takes about a day to roll out a piece of felt. How many people participate? Four or five women. This felt was formed by four women. The more people participate, the better they understand each other. As a result, beautiful and thick felt is obtained. Having completely rolled out the felt, it should be washed with clean water. Our ancestors did the same way, so we removed the smell and soap from wool. Then we dry the product and look over the surface again. If there are flaws, somewhere the wool sticks out. We cut them off, clean and then give the order to the client. <laughs> wonderful. You are wearing a wonderful outfit from felt with silk inserts. Is that wool too? <laughs> yes, this is a sheep wool. Everything is made in Kazakhstan. We paint sheep wool by hand. We opened the first such workshop in the country. Therefore, we study and hold experiments. Of course, we produce not only felt products. As soon as we gained experience, we began to combine felt with silk, make felt inserts and started to produce such beautiful garment. It can be worn in the summer as well. Yes, it's not hot in summer, but not cold in winter in it. These are very light shawls. Presently, felt products are popular even among men. It's not necessary to embroider an ornament on it. We can decorate it in any design style. This is useful information. Wear clothes made of felt, rest on tiki made at home, and do not forget the national Kazakh traditions. Thank you very much. Aigui. Thank you.
From times immemorial, the Kazakh people had designed the place of honor in the house. Usually blankets that were used to greet guests were neatly folded in this place. And there were many such blankets, on the floor, on chests in the house. Mainly there were patchwork quilts, traditionally patchwork quilts called Qurakurpia. A full of vivid colors, beautiful ornaments and fine patterns. Qurakurpia symbolizes prosperity and well-being. Now I'm using a loom to weave. Nowadays, this applied craft is not commonly used among artisans. In the past, our ancestors and craftsmen used to weave quilts, rugs with vibrant ornaments, embroideries, geometrical and botanical patterns. Today, I will introduce you to the master of weaving. Welcome to our program, Gulnar. <laughs> Hello, Tamar. Hello, dear viewers. To start weaving, first we prepare threads. To make a thread, sheep's wool is used. It's thoroughly cleaned, washed, and wrapped. Then threads are divided and dyed. After that, we can start weaving the carpet. To do this, we need a loom, so that to give your weaving product support and tension. Yes, this is the correct process. This is how the threads are drawn tight over the loom. There are several weaving methods. Everyone has its own weaving method and certain weaving patterns. For example, this method is called Shemtiru. And how long does it take to weave such a pattern? In general, the whole process lasts for about a month, including the time of preparation of yarn. It's necessary to process wool, dye it and dry. Lots of yarn comes in the form of skin. Then we can set to weave alasha, the Kazakh carpet made of wool. In addition, Lacing, rope can be made of yarn. People try to use all the remnants of wool. In general, carpet weaving is the traditional art of all nations, but such weaved carpets with traditional ornaments, light, comfortable, practical both in summer and in winter, have always been popular only among Kazakhs. Such weaving loom for carpets with ornaments is specific for our craftsmen. Kazakh people attach great importance to cattle breeding. It supplies the need for meat and milk. And the wool is raw material for clothes and quilts. All crafts are somehow connected with cattle breeding. Weaving art is a part of crafts which itself was divided into several divisions. Kazakh people weaved clothes, carpets, fabrics, and bedding. Craftsmen used the wool of livestock in almost every sphere. Look how beautiful it is. It is full of vivid and vibrant colors, just like a rainbow. This is not synthetics, but pure sheep wool. I have weaved these carpets. These are unpainted brown and white sheep wool. This technique is called tirizbutak. There is a webbing here. I used shemtiri technique. How is this pattern called? This is Alatiru technique. It's called the same in all regions. Alatiru technique is popular in the Western region. Yes, it's widely spread weaving technique. This product serves to brighten up any interior design. Here are the narrow braid and ropes. These ropes are needed to tighten different material. They're very durable. They are used even when installing a yurt to fasten kirige. They can be turned off. The main thing is that they are sewn tightly.
The man who held stretching frame and regularly pressed the yarn had a real physical training. Blood circulation improves, joints move, shoulders are up and down. Please, tell us about this beautiful handicraft. What kind of rope is this? It is intended for framing rocks, so that to hang it. I wove it from eight strands, like the ropes of the Kazakh whip, Kamsha. The threads are also made of coarse sheep wool and dyed. It is a beautifully interweaved ropes of several colors. Look, here is a strand of different colors and here too. But all together, jointly, these ropes are interwined to form a weaving of eight strands. Eight strands. It can be weaved using more ropes. For example, I made this fringe from separate strands. Our ancestors wove such fringe from one strand without cutting it, as a good sign and belief of long life. So they didn't cut off strands. They made a whole fringe from one thread. Such fringe, ropes, handicrafts represent the heritage of our mothers. And now the use of reviving the spiritual heritage is relevant for us. Traditional Kazakh decorative and applied art forms are gaining more and more popularity. We teach it to our children and students in order to carefully preserve and pass down our handicraft to the next generation. You develop it. We actively promote this art. I want to add some information about fringe. Kazakh people tried to maintain a non-waste economy. They didn't throw away even small bones, using them if it's necessary. Craftsmen created handicraft from different remnants. Beautiful pieces could be created from such items. Such a fringe was woven from the remnants of fabric, wool and felt. Fringes did not have to be of the same color. This one is made on order. Therefore, it is made single-colored. But usually, all the fringes in the yurt were colorful, because they were weaved from the remnants of strands from other items. And the fringe was even smaller than this. This one is quite large. Elder women wore smaller fringe as an amulet, fixing it near the breast to keep away from the evil eye. Clothes, belts, scarves were beautifully decorated with fringes. We want these products to reflect a new knowledge to future generations and not just remain simple products. You put all your efforts to revival of applied arts, creating such masterpieces. I want them to symbolize our Asian handicraft and applied arts. Let's every house have such dressings, braid and rugs. Gulnar, thank you very much. You shared with us very interesting information. Everything reminded me of my childhood. I sincerely wish that this art is revived and preserved, passed down from generation to generation, and always remain the property of the Kazakh people. Thank you. Sewing fashionable clothes is also art. There are many designers who develop the sphere, contributing to formation of a national brand. Today in the studio we have a guest. She's a domestic designer, the author of several collections, Demili Jumabek. Welcome, Demili. Hello. We are very glad to see a prominent designer of our country in our studio. Do you adhere to the Kazakh national style in the design of clothes? Yes, it's a relevant question. I am often asked of it. I'm the Kazakh and all my creations are dedicated to the Kazakh people. It can be seen from my clothing style. For instance, presently, it is fashionable to dress in the Kazakh style. There are two areas, modern Kazakh style and fully national style. I adhere to the modern style of the traditional clothing. For example, a dress may be designed with traditional elements, 
or it can be decorated with ornaments, but only in certain places, a collar, sleeves and pockets. Certain elements. I design modern clothes with such traditional elements or embroidery. Is the demand high? Yes, the demand is very high. In the last five, six years, I see the good tendency among the Kazakh women who prefer traditional style clothing. They especially ordered outfits in the national style for holidays and festive events. They prefer to be unique wearing such bright clothing. We introduced you as the author of a number of collections. I am sure they have their own names. And where do you showcase them? The Fashion Week is held twice a year in Kazakhstan. Domestic designers present their collections on the runway. They organize a small showroom where people buy clothing they like. For example, I have been participating in the fashion show for the sixth year in a row. I try not to miss this event. Last time, I presented my collection in the fall of 2019. It consisted of 15-16 looks. The collection is called Grace. A man of art falls in love with somebody or nature, some events. Changes happen in his life. In this regard, I take into account such special moments in my design. Life moments. Yes, moments in life. In April, spring collection of 2020 will be presented. I hope we will take part in the fashion show. I named my collections differently. For example, there was a collection called which means traces of thought. The other was called grace, and the third, harmony of black and white. There is a collection with a Kazakh name, Kurak. The design of all clothes is ready to wear pret a -porter. It promotes everyday modern clothes. Such models are popular and sold well. Of course, there will be other collections, but it all depends on inspiration. Applied art begins from a person's mood. It doesn't matter whether a craftsman is in a good or in a bad mood. A person can still take up some kind of craft. Because it associates with fine motor skills in the psyche. And when there is a balance between actions and thoughts, the mood comes back to a normal state. The main thing in this case is not to separate these concepts. Demili, thank you very much for coming to our studio and telling so many interesting things. I wish you an exhaustible inspiration. And let all the Kazakh women wear your fashionable dresses. Thank you, Tamara. Applied art is the oldest treasure of our nation. Our duty is to preserve this treasure and pass it down to future generations. I think our program has made a feasible contribution to this good deed. You watched Kazakh Live Duster program. See you soon.